Hey, how is everybody today? Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to make those uh, cool outro videos you see that a bunch of people are doing on YouTube. So, uh, first off, you want to start off with uh, Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you want to make yourself a basic template that is the same size. Make sure it's the same size as what you uh, are rendering in in Sony Vegas. And uh, as you can see here, I have my own template here. Um, and I labeled what the videos are going to be at the end that I want to link to already in Photoshop. So, now that I've created that, I'm going to go into Sony Vegas and open up that file. Uh, you can save it as a PSD or a PNG, whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And uh, we're going to drag it into our uh, timeline here. And after it's in the timeline, you can obviously put this at the end of your videos, but we're just going to do this uh, on its own for now. Alright, and then once you do that, you want to create your own uh, video uh, track. Uh, I'm not sure if you really have to do this, but I uh, do it anyway. And then you want to open up your video that your or your two videos that you want to use to uh, put at the end. Um, and then once this is imported, you uh, can just go ahead and delete the audio track uh, because you're not going to need it um, because you don't want the audio to come through when the video plays. So uh, it's going to render here and uh, find the audio tracks if it hasn't already. And uh, while you're doing this, waiting for it to render, you can simply just say, I want the video to last for 15 seconds, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm cutting it up to uh, any 15 seconds that I want. Uh, usually I like to try to make it uh, some 15 seconds of action to hold the, uh, hold the viewer's interest. Um, so while you're doing that, you can drag it all over, drag it on down, and then uh, resize your... Uh, or, sorry, you can make another video track and uh, import your next one and repeat the same process. Uh, make it down to uh, 15 seconds or however long you want. Um, I just choose 15 because I think it's a uh, it's long enough. Uh, 10 is a little short and 20 is a little long, so went right in the middle with 15 seconds. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it again here in uh, video two. Um, I'm just doing random right now just to uh, show you uh, what it's all about, and um, so you can choose your own your own 15 seconds if you want. And uh, in this particular one, I uh, have two spaces for videos. Uh, you can do as many as you want, but uh, for the most part, I just see two people doing two spaces. So uh, yeah, it just depends on uh, whatever uh, your your Photoshop file looks like. Um, you know, in mine, I created two spaces, and uh, I'm resizing it down here. I just did that for uh, for shits and giggles, I guess. All right, and then once that is like that, you see the two videos are on top of the uh, the Photoshop file there. Uh, make sure that's important, unless you created a transparent background, but in this case, I did not. Um, you can do whatever you want; doesn't matter. If the background is transparent, you will see them through the uh, through the background of that uh, Photoshop file. So. Don't worry about that, but for uh, but for now, it's on top. So what I did was open up the FX pane, and uh, I am going to resize the vision, I guess you could call it, of the video. So once I, I'm just moving in here so I don't get confused. And um, so once you open up this FX pane, you want to um, resize the video, and you can see that here. And uh, you will see the changes take effect on the uh, preview screen. Uh, as such. So I actually made my own template here but I'm just showing this uh, just so the viewers know. And then once and you can see where we're headed here um, so you, it's almost opposite. You want to drag it the uh, opposite way of where you want to place it. And uh, the, the beauty in this is that you don't have to do this twice. You can just simply save it and uh, open it again uh, right here you can hit save and then open it and it would be right there so I already created mine so I just clicked on it again and then uh, I can just X out and then uh, after I X out of here and I uh, finagle with it a little bit alright there you go and then you just do that drag it all over and you can do that with the next video uh, let's repeat the same process really but in this case you can just simply go to your template it'll be right on top of the other one and then you can just drag it over to the uh, other placement. Um, the beauty in this process here is that you can have one Photoshop file and uh, really if you, you know, with every video you can go change that Photoshop file, change the description of those videos and uh, boom it will update automatically so if I, you know, my next video that I create I use that same Photoshop file 
I go into it, change the names of the videos, and you can see I'm playing it, and that's how it looks. And then when you go into uh, YouTube, make sure you put a uh, annotation over that with a link to that video, and you will see that it uh, will appear that way. And then, yes, as you can see here, I am uh, changing the description to video one and video two, just to be uh, just to be vague. Uh, you, you know, obviously you can make whatever the heck you want, but in this case. That is that. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. And um, be sure to check out all this other stuff that I have on our channel: uh, Ghost Recon videos, Madden, NCAA, some Halo Reach stuff. Uh, more stuff to come is uh, Dead or Alive 5, uh, Bioshock 3. When it comes out, it's been pushed back, so uh, we'll be waiting on that stuff. So, um, be sure to check all that stuff out. And uh, hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and hopefully, it was helpful. Thanks for watching.